Hey guys, I'm going to show one of the good feature in Notepad Plus Plus that will help you to do your work faster. Today I'm going to talk about the record feature in Notepad Plus Plus to get comma separated values. So the record button is here in Notepad Plus Plus. This is the record button. So in our working environment, since we are dealing with a lot of data as an IDs, we'll be in a need to get it in a specific pattern, let's say comma separated values, to pass them in a query or something like that. So here I have some list of countries where I need to have them separated by comma. So what we can do is we can make use of the record feature. So I'm going to show you how to use it. Let's keep the cursor in the beginning and press the record button. So you're going to instruct Notepad++ what it has to do to, to the whole set of values. So I'm putting a single quotes and I'm pressing the end button. Again, a single quote, a comma, down arrow, and pressing the home button. And this is something called stop recording. Now you're stopping the recording and so you are instructing Notepad++ in which, fa in which fashion it has to arrange your set of values. So you can click the playback. You can see the data are separated by comma separated values. So you can do it, run a macro multiple times. So it's going to give you the comma separated value for all the values in your in your document. So run until the end of the file and click on run. You're done. You can see all your values are separated by commas. So this is one of the standard feature available in Notepad++. However, if you are dealing with large set of data, I have uh, one more trick that is much more faster and you can you can easily make them separated by commas. I'll show you uh, that one. This is just a combination of some shortcut keys and uh, we are going to use the find and replace feature. So to do this, I have some thousands of IDs. Let's keep the cursor in the second row of the document. And now click on Shift plus left arrow. That will give you a space. So what we are going to do is we are click on Control F and we are going to replace this blank space with single quotes, comma, and single quotes. I'm going to click on replace all and wait for some time. It's going to give you a comma separated values. See, that's it. So in this method, what you have to make sure is you have to put a single quote in the beginning of your values manually. At the same time, you need to check out the end of your values and you have to remove this extra comma and single quote. That's it. Your ID is already enough. You can pass it to your SOPL queries to get the data. So Happy smart working. I hope uh, this recording 
record feature tutorial and as well as this shortcut key comments to get the comma separated values will be helpful for you guys. Do like, share, subscribe and uh, let me know your comments on this video and if you have any questions post it. I'll be happy to help you out guys. Thank you.